AI has been taking over the world in, well, mysterious ways. But I always wondered, what does AI think could happen in Splatoon 4 if every single team won the Grand Festival? So, why don't we go ahead and find out? One, historical campaigns. Perhaps Splatoon 4 could feature a campaign mode set in the past, allowing players to experience pivotal events that shaped the world of Splatoon. Two, new character dynamics. It could introduce new characters or explore the origins of existing ones, revealing how they contributed to the current state of Inkopolis. Three, ancient technology and artifacts. The game might uncover ancient technology or artifacts that provide new gameplay mechanics or insights into the history of the Inklings and Octarians. Four, expanded lore and world building. There could be more extensive world building, including new regions, societies, or conflicts that existed in the past, but still impact the present. Five, time travel or flashbacks. Splatoon 4 could employ time travel mechanics or flashback sequences, allowing players to witness key moments firsthand and interact with historical figures. Of course, these ideas are speculative, but they could provide a richer narrative and deeper understanding of the Splatoon universe if past wins in Splatoon 3's Grand Festival. Now, I'm not exactly sure if they would do all of this, but I could see them actually doing some of this in the future. It will be pretty cool to go back into the past, but now I wonder what would happen if Present won the Splatfest. Before I get into what will happen in the present, I'd like to say that I now have a Twitch. I'll be streaming challenges on there and other stuff, and posting unedited segments of my stream to my live channel, which will both be in the description. Okay, uh, hiya, it's me Marina. Saviors' dumbass forgot to mention that he created a new Discord server as well. It'll have giveaways, Q&As, and more. So join in the link below or on the screen. Also, three custom roles are being given away, but you do need to be at least level five. The giveaway will end August 10th, where then you will have to use the server's currency to buy a custom level. All right, enjoy the rest of this shitty video. If present wins in the grand festival of Splatoon 3, it could lead to a different direction for Splatoon 4. Here are some potential themes or developments that could arise. One, current events and challenges. Splatoon 4 might focus on the ongoing struggles and developments within the current timeline of the Splatoon universe. This could mean addressing new conflicts, technological advancements, or social changes in Inkopolis. Two, continuation of character stories. It could further develop the stories of existing characters, exploring their growth, relationships, and roles in shaping the present day world. Three, evolution of Inkling culture. The game might delve deeper into the cultural aspects of Inkling and Octarian societies as they evolve in the present time. This could include new fashion trends, music styles, or sports. Four, exploration of new territories. Splatoon 4 could introduce new locations within the Splatoon universe, expanding the map of Inkopolis and beyond to showcase how the world has expanded or changed. Five, current threats and challenges. The storyline could introduce new threats or challenges that emerge in the present timeline, requiring Inklings and Octarians to confront them with new tactics and technology. Overall, if present wins, Splatoon 4 would likely build upon the current state of the world, offering new adventures, characters, and lore that reflect the ongoing developments in the Splatoon universe. So basically what ChatGPC is saying could happen is, it'll mainly go the same with just new threats and more. This is actually pretty cool. Like, I actually like it. If I wasn't going past, I'd go present if I knew it would end up like this. Anyways, it's time for the final idea ChatGPT has. What would happen if Future won the Grand Festival? If Future wins in the Grand Festival of Splatoon 3, 
it would suggest that Splatoon 4 could explore a futuristic theme with various intriguing possibilities. One, advanced technology and innovation. Splatoon 4 could feature a setting where technology has advanced significantly from the current timeline. This could include futuristic weapons, gear, and gadgets that introduce new gameplay mechanics. Two, exploration of new worlds. The game might expand beyond Encopolis to futuristic cities, space stations, or other realms, offering fresh environments and challenges for players to explore. Three, time travel or alternate realities. There could be elements of time travel or exploration of alternate futures, where players witness different outcomes based on past events or decisions. Four, cyberpunk aesthetics. The visual style could lean towards cyberpunk aesthetics, blending urban landscapes with neon lights, advanced machinery, and a gritty atmosphere. Five, new species or factions. Splatoon 4 could introduce new species or factions that have emerged in this future timeline, each with their own unique abilities, motivations, and confidence. Six, environmental themes. The storyline might address futuristic environmental issues or technological advancements affecting the ecosystem of the Splatoon world. Overall, a future theme for Splatoon 4 would likely embrace innovation, offering players a glimpse into a bold, imaginative future for the Inklings and Octarians, filled with new challenges, technologies, and narrative possibilities. This one is definitely the coolest one. Yeah. I could see, like, this would be actually the best one. Like, environmental themes and stuff, like, that's good. The new, like, the factions, that's what I'd be excited for. Introduce new species or factions. Like, imagine a faction full of, like, sanitized octolings, and then you have, like, one that's not sanitized. Like, that'd be so awesome. And also, like, the alternate realities of time travel. Like, yo, this is actually, this is insane. It, like, that actually could be insane. Anyways, um, yeah. That's it for this video. I wanted to say thank you all for the support on my last video. I did not expect a one-year-old recording would do so well. That was like a filler video too, so I could prepare for this video. But yeah, thank you all. And yeah, thank you all for 600 subscribers. And either in the next video or the video after that will be the q and I'm, I'm actually not sure what the next Oh, I actually didn't know the next video. You'll have to stay tuned. It is, a, it is a rating video, so I know some of you guys like that. Anyways, yeah. That's it. Thank you all for watching. Um, like and subscribe if you want. And yeah, goodbye.